Hello everyone, welcome to week two of my songwriting challenge. This week we're doing pop punk. Thank you very much to Lil Young for that suggestion. If you have any more, please put them in the comment section below. I'd really love to know what you want me to do next week. So as always, I'm just gonna take you through track by track on my computer and show you how I got to the finished song. So the first guitar part has power chords. That's the absolute key. So that's the first, the fifth, and then the first again really super simple, powerful chords. As soon as you've got your chords down, all you need to do is chuck it through a really distorted amp. So I just got one of the presets here. It's called Turbo Head. Sounds a little bit naughty, but there you go. And then all I had was a simple chord progression. D, F sharp, G. To a sort of slightly syncopated rhythm, because they love that in pop punk, to have a little stop where everyone in the band shows how in time they all are. The verse is exactly the same chords, but it's palm muted, so it just means I put my palm on there so it's a little bit quieter, but the energy is still there. The pre-chorus is almost the same, except it goes to the relative minor, so it's B minor, F sharp, G. So then you have a big build up on the A chord. And the chorus is super simple. It's a classic chord progression of D, G, B minor, and then you expect it to go to A, but it doesn't, it goes from B minor to B flat, which is just a little bit more interesting, something a little bit of spice, because otherwise I feel like it can get a little bit boring. And then when you get to the bridge, it is the chords you expect. D, G, B minor, A. And the simple reason for that is it's much easier to get an anthemic choir moment with everyone clapping along. It's just much easier to do that if you've got a simpler chord progression. Now the lead part, I'm using octaves, which is another classic pop punk technique, meaning I'm playing the same note, at the same time in different octaves. And like that, it just uh, gives it a little bit more beef, a little bit more energy than... Just sounds a little bit rubbish. When you have the two together, then it really stands out. And then the final guitar part is literally me just playing a D chord really high up the fretboard. And it only comes in during the choruses, and it just gives it a screaming high to contrast the other two guitars. So it's just that. Underneath all the chords, which gives them all a bit of suspension and roots them to home to make you just feel like, yeah, this is where I want to be. So to recap that, guitars, you need power chords, you need octaves, and you need screaming. Now, for drums, it's just me typing it in and using one of Logic's presets. I think it's called Smash. It's called Smash Plus. The great thing about pop punk is that can, you can use lots of double bass drum kicks, which they absolutely love. Stuff like this. And then lots of open hi-hat. And that's all it really... As long as it's high energy and loud, you know exactly what kind of music you're listening to straight away. The bass part is super simple. It's just root notes, and then in the choruses, I'm in drop D, so that it just grounds a little bit better than having this really high up bit. And again, that's fake, it's MIDI. I don't even own a bass guitar, but it sounds all right. It sounds fine for something done in a week. And then finally, you get to the lyrics. When I started doing this, I had no idea what the song was about, but for me, pop punk was a genre I listened to when I was really young, like primary school level, when I was listening to Busted and Green Day, and then Five Sauce came along again in, in high school, and they were quite good, they had some quite good songs. So it I really it makes me think of a young time, and that's why I was like, this song has got to be in high school. And then that got me thinking about songs like um, Teenage Dirtbag and Stacey's Mom. So, so really like, almost, they don't take themselves very seriously in those words. And that's why straight away I got that lyric in my head. I was a lancer, she wore a party dress. And that's all I had while I was writing the song. And then I got to the end of the chorus. And I think I just sang, never be my girl. And that was it. I immediately knew it was like, I really liked you in high school. But when I look back now, God, I can't believe I ever did. Like, just because you were popular. Like, I'm so much better than you now. I think everyone's felt that. Everyone's been like, how? Oh, God, I fancied you. That's, oh, that's just, that just hurts. And that's it. That's really simple. It, there's, a, there's a third above harmony going on in the chorus, which is really high. You were my idol. My love was viral. 
good thing is you can get away with a lot of auto-tuning because a lot of the singers are auto-tuned despite the fact that pop punk singers have huge ranges it's very auto-tuned it's very well produced unlike my recording here you can't really hear what i'm saying that's why i made that lyric video so this is a bit of a strange interlude but while i was editing the video i realized i never finished it i didn't say thank you for watching or anything like that so that's what this is thank you very much for watching the video uh i really hope you enjoyed it and if you've made any punk pop please send it to me and please also let me know what kind of music you want me to make next week thank you very much for watching everyone and here is the full song see you later